I mean, it's what they say, like, I guess it's just, I just think better, it's better to be just more silent now, keep a lot of shit in, you know? You think? I think so, because even like, I mean, think yeah. about it, bro, think about being in yeah, a room, yeah. think about being in a room, a, a, group, a group of people, let's say like meeting or whatever, yeah. like, you know, there's a dude, there's always going to be that dude who's always talking a lot. Aren't you thinking in your mind, like, this dude sounds like a fool, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, that depends. That's why, Ari, right, I agree with you to an extent where it's like, only speak if it's like worth speaking. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. It's okay to talk a lot, but make sure it's like has substance and mm-hmm. value. Mm-hmm. But if you're, yeah, if you're just talking and just talking and not to bring shit, yeah. it's like diarrhea out the mouth. Yeah. Pairs, bro. Like, yeah. That's yeah. how people are going to view you, just an annoying ass chatterbox. Yeah. But if you are somebody that, yeah, you're silent or you do speak a lot mm-hmm. and you're just like, you're saying things that actually like mean something. Mm hmm. Yeah. Or people are going to see you as like smart. Yeah. I don't know. Because some people that speak a lot, often, well, people that oftentimes are people that are very intelligent probably mm-hmm. will speak a lot, depending mm-hmm. on circumstance. You know? That's true. That's true. Because they're like, they know. Yeah, they, they know, know yeah. that type of shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But Not there's, so, a, but there's also like the ones that say like the wise one has like few words or some shit. I don't know. There's some, some shit. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah. I, I think I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know the saying you're trying to say. Yeah, I don't know the saying exactly, but I know the saying you're thinking of. Yeah, because it's like they got a closed mouth. Mm. So, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know, but yeah, you're listening. They, the smart person tends to listen more than mm-hmm. what they speak. Yeah, you know? and it's interesting because when you're silent, like people, like let's say you're having a conversation with someone, like you'll find out that people overshare if if you're just mm-hmm. if you're quiet. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that's when like. Um, because I feel like it's because people are afraid of the of the silence. You know yeah. what I'm saying? People are afraid of, of being of that awkward silence, so they feel like they have to share, just so there's no none of that silence. So they'll even overshare to 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 not have that silence. That, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I find that interesting too. I mean, because I even in my life now I start to realize like how much people overshare when I just like stay quiet. You know what I'm saying? Just listen. Oh really? Yeah. You be looking for that. I don't be looking for it, but I, it's just something I notice. I notice it. You know what I'm saying? And like, cause I notice when I mean, I don't. I really don't mind silence. Like, I'll sit there. Like, I don't really care. Yeah. You know. Um, I mean, with phones and shit nowadays, silence became easy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as things get awkward, what's the first thing people do? Just start check out their phone, start looking at it. Yeah, you know, scroll through IG. Yeah. Cause now it's like they're occupied. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Before you couldn't just sit there and just sit and wait. Yeah. Like now they're occupied. Okay, I don't feel like doing shit. Mm-hmm. That's true. It's so easy to like avoid silence nowadays. It or is. like make silence okay. Yeah, that's true. I, I, that happens a lot. At least in, in my job, especially too. Like when there's times where like we're not saying anything, mm-hmm. don't even say. Yeah, people just pull out their phone, mm-hmm. and start chilling on their phone. Damn. And then sometimes people even pre- like I, I even pretend, bro. Swear, exactly. Like, I'm like, and it's so crazy that it's also a collective thing. Like, cause you're not the only one. A lot of people do that, bro. Yeah. Almost everyone does that. Like they pull out their phone. They cause I guess it's just easy. It's so much easier to avoid communication with people <laughs> and like sometimes like i don't know i mean even me myself i find myself like i just can't fade talking to people yeah. sometimes yeah definitely i'm definitely like i'm really mood dependent bro mm. like the mood i'm in yeah. really depends a lot like sometimes i am talkative and outgoing as fuck and yeah i'll just go t- start talking to whoever and yeah. be outgoing and keep conversations going but then there's sometimes where i literally do not want to speak to a single soul mm. and i'm like they start talking to me i'm like fuck and i see it as like a burden <laughs> And I'm like, and I try to find the quickest way to end the combo. Yeah. But usually that makes it awkward for me mm. because then the combo ended, but we're still kind of like mm-hmm. there and shit. Then yeah. I pick up my phone. I'm like, all right, yeah. but I hate, I hate that. that shit. I hate that I hate shit. That but shit. at the same time, it's like, bro, I just don't feel like talking. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how else to go about it. Would it maybe another solution for that? Uh, honestly, I the think it's the best way. Fuck it. Nah, honestly, I think maybe. Maybe, I guess, just try to see what you can get out of this person. Because you can always get something out of someone, you know? And not like, I mean, you just find out something about someone. You never know, you know what I'm saying? But it, it takes a lot of patience for that, though. It takes a lot of patience, like, you know, just for people. Because sometimes it's even like, like, sometimes you just can't fade hearing someone. Because you already know, like, where they're at, kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, where their minds are at, I yeah. guess. And it's just, you know, like, you'll gain nothing, I guess. But I don't really like... I guess it's just because I don't really enjoy small talk. Yeah, that too. I'm yeah. not a person that enjoys to do small talk and yeah. like, oh, how was your day? The yeah. weather's real nice. Or like, yeah. stay on a subject where it's like, oh, you went to the beach. How was the beach? Yeah, I love mm-hmm. the beach. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't like stuff like that. Like, I like deep shit. Mm-hmm. I like stuff with substance. Like, yeah, I can learn. Like, I can't really learn much from you. If you I mean, I can if you tell me about your day, but 
that's just on the surface of like what mm-hmm. you're feeling at the time. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about like I'm trying. I like learning about people's character and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't really learn much that, through that. Yeah. And that's true. I think small talk is the quickest way to have those conversations end. You know. Yeah. To have, to lead to something that with no conclusion mm-hmm. but if you have deep those deep combos start talking about real shit mm-hmm. like i've had like i'm gonna talk about my work a lot because of my work you i'm kind of like one of the youngest people there mm-hmm. like there's only a few of us that are my age mm-hmm. like a couple of my friends that are also into northwest and stuff we're all mm-hmm. like classmates but mm-hmm. we're the youngest people there everybody else is at middle aged or even older some are grandparents some are like that like most of the people i work with in my classroom are like grandparents mm-hmm. like hispanic ladies mm-hmm. so like yeah they're like they could literally be my mom like they yeah. look at me like i look at them like mothers because they are bro like <laughs> I, i'm like their son i could mm-hmm. be their fucking son mm-hmm. so like there's another dude in like they like having small talk and i don't really enjoy it that much mm-hmm. then there's one guy he's like a nurse he starts talking to me and i really like i fucked with it because he starts talking to me about real shit he's like what mm-hmm. you better do with your life and he's like and like that's like a big question mm-hmm. i mean unless a lot of people ask that you yeah. can answer it broadly mm-hmm. but at the same time i don't know but then he starts talking about his life you know mm. and that's where it's like yeah that's why i wanted to do this but luckily in my life i didn't make these mistakes and mm. if i were you i would be like this so it's like you know i'm learning about him i'm mm. learning about his thought process mm-hmm. of where he was when he was my age and like how he thinks about life now and all that stuff and mm-hmm. i'm like that's what's cool because yeah. that's where i can truly learn mm. something i can't learn something where it's like oh yeah yeah. My teeth are crooked yeah. or something. Yeah. Like, bro, what the fuck? I don't yeah. care about your teeth. Like, yeah. shit. Like, yeah. that stuff doesn't really entertain me. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to keep me involved in the convo. Mm. You know? But, you know what it is, then? I think it's just, I guess, people being vulnerable. Because that dude was telling, like, yeah. he didn't have to tell him. That is true. You know right? what I'm saying? Yeah, he was vulnerable. Yeah, because, because you just said, like, he shared his shit first. So that's why it inclined you to want to share about your life. So, yeah. so I guess to answer your question, what you asked earlier, then maybe what if you tried being vulnerable to some people? Like, you don't have to be completely vulnerable, but just, I guess, a little bit. Like, just talk about your life or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then maybe you, you'll find out people will be like, okay, maybe I can, it's cool to, for me to talk about my life. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's the thing. Like, everyone has their own story, bro. Everyone has their testimony and what they've been through and shit. But people just won't go out their way to, like, say that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm kind of cautious, though, with, like, who to tell. Yeah, that's true. Because like, you can't be vulnerable with everybody, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's true. That's you know? true. That's true. Like, that's true. less energy and shit. Like, yeah. not everybody needs to know where you are that's and true. what you're doing and stuff. Yeah. So a lot of people don't deserve it. And that's why mm. I'd be kind of picking and choosing. Like, if you're willing to learn. Like, if you're willing, if you're going to ask me and you're willing to, uh, like, understand, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. all right, that's fair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's like, I'm not about to, I don't think I'm going to go out my way and just start spilling all the beans without yeah you asking yeah. at least or at least having like a mutual like yeah interest or something like that or that like you know this person is like is down to have a type of conversation like yeah that. exactly yeah. exactly yeah because there are people that i really can't have those conversations no that's with. facts yeah like there are some people that i do think are stupid yeah no that's even true. though they might not be i think they are it's just levels it's fucked it's fucked to me yeah but i mean it's just how i go about it yeah. and that's why i could never think that i can have those conversations with them you yeah know? no it's fact there's levels there's levels to like whatever you want to call it i guess awareness or whatever but there's levels to that shit you can't share a lot of that shit with a lot of people but that's why it's about knowing that too then i guess if you find a person that you can then you just it's better to just stay silent to be honest like you know what i'm saying because like you trying to overshare is only gonna like or just share in general is just gonna like, you're just gonna waste your time. Yeah, to be honest, exactly. you're just waste time. Exactly. Yeah. Like some people don't even want to listen to that. Yes. Yeah. Well, another common thing I found is I think that, like the middle aged with girls and all that shit. Like we have meetings a lot, bro. Like we oh. also, like of course we have meetings a lot. Mm-hmm. We're in school, so whatever. I found in the meetings how how many times where I was just like, can this end? Mm. Because we were going in circles and we say they say nothing. They're saying things without saying anything, bro. And that pisses me off, bro. Because I'm like, do you guys really care that much? Like, oh, this link. Oh, what a what a nice link to this nice website. Yeah, I love this website in particular because... And it's like bullshit. Like, there's actually... It's just a plain ass... It's like YouTube, bro. Like, it's just YouTube, bro. Why do you like this website so much? You know, but they just keep adding on to it and stuff. And I'm like, just shut the fuck up, bro. Like, <laughs> there's not much to say. Yeah. But people love saying things and they just love wasting time. Mm-hmm. It's low key wasting time, especially mm-hmm. in those meetings when you already don't even want to be in there. Yeah. And then they start talking about some random shit and just building upon random shit. And I'm like, bruh, mm. can we talk about like the kids or something? Mm-hmm. Something important, bro? Like, I'm not learning anything from this. 
<laughs> my god do you think it has to do with that that fear of like silence as well or, or is that just a- sometimes it would it did sound like it would be mm. but others literally it's just, no it's just bot shit literally just bot shit <laughs> damn where you know that all these people talk about are like the conversations these people usually have are small talk i don't know i hate that shit yeah, but i hate I small talk i don't know what I it do. is bro no, because it's it's kind of even texting. It just, it just seems like a, t- a waste of time. Yeah, because you know it's not really gonna go anywhere, and you know that they really don't give a fuck, and you don't give a fuck. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like-